This right here is the Husqvarna Viking Sewing Advisor. So this is going to help you know what stitch to use, what settings for different fabrics. Let me show you how you re read these symbols. So in the first column here, it has for the sewing machine, has two pictures of woven fabric. So the first line all the way across would be if you are using fabric that is woven, like a lightweight to medium woven fabric. On the second row would be for heavy woven fabric. The third row is for light to medium knit or stretch fabric. And the last one is a heavy stretch fabric. So let's say we're working on a denim. So we're gonna be looking at the heavy woven fabric line, the kind of the, the second one down. The gray, columns here are each different types of sewing techniques. The first column is a seam. The second column is an overcast. The third column is a seam and overcast. The fourth one is a basting stitch. Fifth one is a blind hem. The next one is a regular hem. And then the last one is a buttonhole. So it's pretty obvious that some of those are more obvious than others. Next to it will be for that particular technique, a recommendation for what foot to use, what the tension should be set at, the stitch length and the stitch width for each of the different fabrics you choose and technique you choose. So back to the heavy woven, so a denim. So if we are going to do an overcast and seam, we're gonna be using stitch number 12. Put on the B foot, the tension should be between four and six. The stitch length should be three and the stitch width should be six. So you can go ahead and dial in those settings for the perfect results of this fabric and that technique. I love the fact that it recommends different buttonholes and then it also, it just really helps make sure that we have the right setting for each of the different fabrics. That's what this whole little chart is. The more you use it, the easier it is to kind of remember what each of those symbols are.